morning so this question is from the topic of ray optics a very interesting question because it has a lot of layers of tricks involved in this so if you notice this question uh, the situation number 1 is you have a convex lens and then you have a layer of liquid and then a mirror right so this is what makes this question pretty interesting you have a lot of refracting uh, material and then you have a reflecting material the question is if you place a needle at certain distance and you move this needle in front of this unique combination of optical devices you know if if i were to say these are many optical you know devices the mechanism of refraction and reflection work together in a very specific manner and which is the inverted image is formed at the position of the needle so the Im image is in inverted and if this was your main object after undergoing lot of actions here here and with the mirror so three actions will happen one at the convex lens the second action will happen at the uh, plano concave lens okay i am assuming the layer of liquid is also some kind of lens but the refractive index is different okay and then of course the third action happens at the mirror now we we understand what happens at each of the surfaces but the trick in the question is the image is formed found at the position of the needle now because the image the whole system is lying vertical i will first convert this system to a horizontal situation which is easier to understand actually and let me just draw those diagram uh, so that it's easier for us to understand so i'm just drawing the convex lens the way it is drawn in this particular question and so this is the convex lens if you see and then i am going to draw a layer of liquid which touches this particular uh, lens and this is what i am doing so the so if you notice the side which is touching the lens is ha having a curvature so i am doing the same thing okay and then i will join these two so the second action happens here and this is a liquid okay of some density so let me just use maybe some other color to show the difference between the two so this is your liquid okay so let me just say this is your liquid and after the liquid what you have is a mirror okay a mirror so uh, let me draw a mirror here now where the third action will happen right now that action obviously is reflection and nothing else right so so let's say you have a mirror lying here i will just draw so this is your mirror right and since i said i will draw this whole thing in horizontal let me draw this thing in horizontal now so this is where my needle is so maybe the needle is somewhere here and the after the three actions happen okay uh, through the three different optical devices i am treating a lens also as a optical device the image finally gets created here and is inverted and this is what what amazes me you know why the image is getting created uh, at this place so let me just give you a quick revision on the concepts that are involved in this and what are the hints that are involved one hint is obviously is this first is if you notice a convex lens right a convex lens what does it do it refracts right it refracts the light the refraction it is capable of doing is governed by two things one the refractive index of the material the second is governed by the radius of curvature right radius of curvature so this is true for any lens right uh, all the lenses refract and same mechanism now if you see this this is made up of some material which is of uh, refractive index 
1.5 okay so this is 1.5 the layer of liquid is also acting as a lens only it, it just that it, the word liquid has been given doesn't mean it is no it, it also refracts and in, you know the plano concave lenses are essentially negative lenses right the their action is negative and one key thing that again comes to my mind radius of curvature so the radius of curvature of the plano concave lens on the curvature side if you notice this what what is this this is also same as the curvature of the second side of the lens so you can see they are overlapping this is the radius of curvature of the lens and this is also the radius of curvature of the plano concave lens i'm giving you a lot of description so that you're able to do these questions on your own i can solve this in five seconds but i'm not doing that i'm just trying to tell you the story behind how to solve this uh, so so you will see a refraction which is governed by a refractive index and radius of curvature you will see one more refraction which is governed by a refractive index and radius of curvature two refractions will happen one positive refraction which is in a way let me put it this way converging in nature so the refraction that happens here is converging in nature the refraction that happens at concave lenses which i said are negative lenses is generally diverging in nature so in effect what is happening is whatever convergence is happening to some extent it is getting neutralized by the plano concave lens right these this is for so far what we are doing is a combination of lens right so it is also case of combination of lens mind you the video is not made to make you parrots and just tell you the solutions but to really make you understand so that you can think logically when you see the next question how to tackle such questions now if you notice the first the radius of curvature is probably given in the question so it is uh, given to be small little the distance okay so the new distance is this so it's e it's an equiconvex so the radius of curvature on both the sides is equal the distance of the needle from the lens is measured to be 45 centimeter all right so the radius of curvature is unknown actually right so let me put it this way that if I just concentrate on combination of lens, the lens number 1, 1 by f is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r, which is this particular radius, r1, first surface, positive obviously, minus what? The second is negative because the rays will come from left to right and the distance is being measured so this is your ray which is coming in right and for this radius of curvature which is r2 the radius will be measured in this direction right so it is part of some sphere and therefore the radius of curvature is measured in negative side right so minus minus 1 by r they're identical so this is 1 by f is equal to mu minus 1, 2 by r, right? So we know what is the focal length of the convex lens. This is no-brainer. It's a straightforward lens situation. The second lens is the plano concave lens. And if I were to calculate 1 by f plano concave, where one of the... So let the refractive index of liquid be mu liquid minus 1. The first surface when you see is again negative in nature, right? Because it is also identical to the... And when I say negative, I am referring to a particular uh, surface, which is clearly marked, if I, if I were to show this, is this one. It is same as this one. Right, so mu two minus one, and the so the first surface is again negative, so minus one by r, and of course the second surface is of infinite value, so this actually does not exist. One by infinity will be zero, 
and you can see the negative sign the finally the focal length of this will be negative and that is why i told you it is a negative lens but this is just small piece of the puzzle so far mu liquid minus 1 and minus so this is what we have calculated as the focal length of the concave lens since these two lenses are touching each other okay so the total overall combined focal length is 1 by f is equal to 1 by f convex lens plus 1 upon plano concave lens right which is this one so let's just add these two together and calculate so we know what is the value of mu here it is 1.5 so 0 0.5 into 2 by r is 1 by f so 1 by f is equal to 1 by r and f is equal to r so the focal length is equal to the radius of curvature so 1 by f is equal to 1 by r plus we don't know the refractive index so this is i will just use this negative sign here so i'm just making it negative mu l minus 1 divided by r i hope this is still making sense to you and you're not lost so this is the combined focal length of the two system right now so far what we've done is refraction okay all right just one important point uh, which is useful for your further studies if you see this plano concave lens a plano convey concave lens always makes a virtual image so wherever you can keep so if this is your object the image is always going to be towards the left so this is your image so this is a small extra point you must remember if you see a plano concave lens like this the image is always going to be leftward it is always going to be erect you cannot have an inverted image with a plano concave lens that is if you keep an object at the focus right the whatever optical system you have put will result in making the rays parallel okay so this is your optical system could be combination of two lenses could be one lens it makes the rays parallel and when the parallel rays go and strike the mirror like this in a per so it is perpendicular right? these are parallel and they strike in a perpendicular manner the rays retrace back this is the key problem okay the, the key hint given in the question is this this is an optical system which is made up of a liquid lens liquid is removed but the key lies here that the rays have to become parallel which is only possible if you keep this object at the focus of the optical system so this is an optical system and you're keeping and you're calculating the resultant focal length of this optical system and then that focal length is given indirectly by way of the distance of the image and the distance of the object coinciding with each other so that's the way you need to approach these problems if you understand this, I think it's a straightforward combination of lens question, which is very easy to solve. So, please go and watch, uh, you know, my playlist on optics and the wave optics. You will have a lot of excellent questions given, which no one will teach you sitting at the comfort of your home. So, right, so the second equation is 1 by 30 is equal to 1 by r. So this is when the liquid is removed right liquid is removed and you're left with only the convex lens and the mirror in this situation the folk the object is located at the focal point so the overall what we're so what i've done is i've substituted the value in 1 by f is equal to 1 by f r which is meant for the convex lens and mirror combination so this is for only convex lens plus mirror right so if you look into the other one so 1 by 45 is equal to 1 by r minus mu minus 1 by r you know the value of r is 30 now from this equation so 1 by 45 is equal to 1 by 30 minus mu minus 1 by r and this is 
वन बाय फोर्टी फाइव माइनस वन बाय थर्टी इज इक्वल टू माइनस म्यू माइनस वन बाय इज इक्वल टू माइनस फिफ्टीन बाय फोर्टी फाइव इंटू थर्टी इज इक्वल टू माइनस म्यू माइनस वन बाय आर आर इज नो टू यू एज थर्टी सेंटीमीटर गोज अवे सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस फाइनली वॉट यू विल गेट इज दिस राइट सो लेट्स जस्ट सॉल्व दिस टिल एंड माइनस वन बाय थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस म्यू माइनस वन माइनस वन बाय थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस म्यू प्लस वन म्यू इज इक्वल टू फोर बाय थ्री सो यू गेट द रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ द लिक्विड ओके सो जस्ट रिमेंबर यू मस्ट